Okay, any questions? Sorry. Tails, Andy, you said. Uh, Andy, you played great for two sets, but is the, was the first set about the way he plays, or had you not quite got out of the blocks yet? Uh, it was a bit of both, I thought. I mean, he did play well. He made it very uncomfortable for me. He was coming to the net a lot. He came out with quite a lot of good passing shots when I came forward, and I started rushing a bit because I went behind and uh, didn't quite know what to expect from his game, but uh, managed to turn it around in the, in the second. Yeah, I mean, you understand you're getting quite frustrated, but you didn't let it consume you. What, what did you tell yourself in the change of ends after that first set? Yeah, actually, I went for a toilet break and just uh, wanted to sort of settle myself down. I started playing a lot more longer rallies in the first set. There was a lot of quick points and, you know, I was going for winners early in the rallies, going for trying to get a lot of free points on my first serve. And when I slowed, slowed the pace of the match down a little bit, I was able to dictate more of the points and play better. You've won 100 matches now at a Masters events. Um, you're the first Brit to ever get to the semi series. Are they the kind of things that you really think about, or is it just for us to talk about? Uh, I didn't know about the, the 100 Masters series match. Uh, I, d I, don't know, I don't know if that's good. Well, I mean, it's obviously good to win 100 matches. I don't know how many people have, have done it. But yeah, the, the, I knew before the match that no Brit had made the semis for uh, like 70 odd years. So that was nice. And I'd, I'd struggled here in the past too. So um, on a personal level, that was, was good to, to play better. And um, obviously you're playing first. Um, your opponent's going to be playing last today. Is that the sort of thing as well? You, you know, you're going to get a lot more rest than than whoever you play, especially if they have a long, tough match tonight? Yeah, I think, I mean, I had the same thing yesterday. I finished at nearly 8 o'clock and played at, at 12. And, um, you know, it's, it's different. Uh, you know, I think, obviously, the, the guys that, that play tonight, they'll, you know, they can at least sort of sleep in in the morning. The one thing that is a big difference between the playing during the day, the court's a lot quicker, and in the evening, it's is much slower um, and I played well in the, the slower conditions, struggled a little bit early on today but I think yeah, it's not going to have too much of, of an, uh, well, bearing on the match, I just hope that uh, Djokovic and Soderling play for a long time tonight. <laughs> just to ask you a question, it's not about tennis just for the sake of it, yeah. what about the FA Cup final, are you going to watch that? Are you gonna... uh, yeah, if I can, yeah, I'll definitely, definitely try and watch it, um, should be interesting actually. Uh, 
Stoke have been playing well last few uh, last few weeks, so should be a good one.